Uh, so I want to introduce Antonio and Jean, and Andrew will be here in a second. Uh, and this is a really cool panel because it's from three different universities, or three different pathways, right? So Antonio just started his um, his college, started college in Georgia, and Jean is working right now to look for and apply to college. And then we'll have Andrew, who is almost towards the end of in, in graduating in Syracuse. And they're going to talk to us about um, setting goals and and how to pursue them. Why is six and three and seven?
So my parents helped me make me some new goals. They talked about what I would have to do to achieve my goals. Now my gap year and when I was a and when I was at my next college. But my mom said I had to get off my butt and go and get out of my room. Here are some goals. Here is my goal sheet that we made one year ago. There are four categories of goals. Health goals, career goals, independent living goals, and friendship goals. We made four we made goals for my gap year, for when I go to college and for after I graduate from college. For example, after college my goal was to have a career where I can use my strengths. In college my goal was to take classes and internships to help me find a good career. So in my gap year, my goal was to find a paid job and an internship. I achieved my goal. I had three jobs and I worked 50 hours per week. I got a job at the Amazon Fulfillment Center and made $15.50 an hour by scanning, sorting, unloading, and unloading boxes. I was also an entry for Congressman Brokana in Santa Clara office. I was also a ministry intern for my church. I am also. Another example is after college, my goal is to have a good group of friends who look out for me and who I can trust. In college, my goal was to join Best Buddies and a church group. So in my gap year, my goal was to join a young adult group at church. I achieved my goal. I joined a college group at Echo Church and I made lots of friends. During my gap year, I worked out. I worked on my goals. I went to gym every day. Do you want to see how strong, strong I am? Yeah. We 
talk about health and fitness, college, driving, coding, and painting, and voting. I learned about colleges. I visit with Water College, Bethel University, and Edgewood College. I attended the college fair and talk to colleges. I take college classes. I take veterinary systems, blogging, and social media. Classes at, at to go. I take a culture careers class at Summers Metro. I took into veterinary science classes at Bridgewater College. I attended a group called Summer Program <coughs> at Edgewood College. It was one week at Madison Wisconsin. In the picture is a bald eagle, and I made a new flare. I manage my calendar, I manage my time, getting up in the mornings, and being ready on time. This picture is my calendar, it includes my classes, <coughs> work schedules, and programs and activities. These pictures are me taking care of myself, I eat healthy, Cook, exercise, shop, or food snacks like personal hygiene. <coughs> Do laundry and make comments. I take care of my earrings. Do maximum juicing with earrings. Before cleaning your earrings, I would took off the tube, the bottom part, and had to clean it with hot water or soap. That's the reason you take care of your units. I have volunteered in your industry experiences. At Gale Farms, I have with food kits and I fill the water buckets, the middle, at Peggy's place, I also do it at downhill skiing. I am a social media eater for closest networking. Also, feeding the baby girls, I work with my girl at inclusive networking. I have the job and my parents. I have a job at a backyard farms. This, it was me slippery at the gardens. I have with the little kids to pick vegetables at their gardens. In the end, I was shoving dirt for the gardens. I got a paycheck. His disability never defined him. He never let it. It's actually a quote I took from one of my friends did a video on me back last year and uh, the, picture, the two pictures I chose to put with this is a picture of me and my friend Amanda who got me started studying at New House and that uh, picture of the new house school which is our public communication school in at Syracuse University that is world famous famous we have the top program in the country and we have even our uh, past graduates come back and talk to us uh, my choice in inclusive view was it was a dream as a kid. I was probably five, four or five years old. I wanted to come to Syracuse. I didn't know why. 
it was just something I wanted to do. It was, I don't, I mean, it was close to home, but I really never knew why I wanted to come to Syracuse at that time. Um, when I got into Inclusive View and started at Syracuse, I took on a challenge that hadn't been attempted yet. Um, I am the first student in Inclusive View to study at, at our new house school, and like it, 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 it is a challenge for someone with a disability, even though my, one of my professors, Professor Olivia Stomsky, says all the time, I don't know you have a disability. Your disability is just by name. You're just like everyone else, else to me and what you've done in classes. I'm taking classes in broadcasting that Sam Rue, one of our uh, administrators that's not here, said, Eric says, as we didn't think these classes were ever going to be attempted by our students, and of course, not how they are. Um, but one of the great things about Inclusive View for any student is you can study whatever you want. If you want to go into broadcasting, that's great. If you want to go in, into ooh, physics, astronomy, if you name it, we've found a way to get our students over to there. Uh, follow your passions. I put photography, video, and storytelling because storytelling is really the main part. Any any photography you do, any video, that is storytelling. You are telling in a story through pictures. Real world experience that, that we have as just being SU students, and, and I work er, er, at multiple school-run organization, Z89, our school-run radio show, uh, our school-run radio station, our school-run TV station, Citrus TV, and I, uh, over the su past summer, um, I got a summer job working at the school as a photographer for a program that we call um, SU Summer College. Z89, I work on the Juice as an audio and video producer. Citrus TV, I've been a production assistant since I started there. And I'm, I'm taking the sports, all the sports games, editing the clips, going to the game, finding what we need. And, and like, to me, I'm not even doing work. It's just a fun thing for me and it's part of it's been helping me in my classes as well. No one can make their choice really for you. You have to make these, these choice for you. So some of the stuff I I think that help up 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 for any student. It doesn't matter if you have a disability or you're just another student. The whole point of college is to learn. What do you want to study? Eddie, where are your interests? What do you think you're capable of? How, how do you want your day to go? Do they have the right kind of classes and clubs for you? How do I, I get to my goal in life? And that's something I think we all have to think about. Uh, uh, you might want to do something, but how do I get there? That's, that's always the question. And I think one of the great things about being a student in Newhouse is I have professors that are actually doing these jobs in the field while they're teaching. So I, I can go to Professor Stomsky or I can go to Professor Concepcion and say, I'm doing this for my class. Can you advise me on it? And they are actually in the field. So we're, we get to really learn what what to do from the professors. I'm doing for my production class, as sport, my sports production class that Professor Stomsky actually teaches. Um, next week I will be in the production truck during one of the 
SG basketball games and actually doing the whole production work while I'm uh, so I, I get to see it before I do a project completely on doing uh, what's called live production. How do I make my college home? Um, I mean, that's something everyone had kind of has to do when they get there. there. Um, after starting a new house, though, I was there every hour I could eat. It'd be there, or, or hanging out, hanging out with my friends, and and talking to my professors outside of class, and pretty much just getting all the actual learning and um, like multiple of my friends and my professors don't consider me a student with a disability. They consider me a new house student, and I feel like that's what everybody. Everyone doesn't want to be thought of as a student with a dis disability. They want to feel like they belong to whatever school they decide to go to. Here are two pictures. Uh, it w the first one is from Citrus TV, uh, a show I work on, Chiefs Countdown. We were, it was our last show of the year semester so so it was a last show all of the semester and we kind of always do a little bit of a celebration in after our final show of the semester and pretty much that that's, that was my multiple a couple of students are still working with me and the rest of them um I know Zach, one of them in it, he's working for ESPN now, but like the, the team I worked with, we can go to each other whenever we need it, eat it. You're working on a paper, call each other. It's just, it, uh, as you, as you especially since TV and Z89 has become family. The second picture I've got there is at our Z89 banquet last year. We have a banquet every, every year, and um, that's just a bunch of us that work in radio, oh, and just hanging out together, or have dinner, we have lots of pictures, just a really fun time um, at banquet. My last picture is, that is uh, from, actually, this, fall semester that was right after orientation that just a bunch of us new students and the older students just hanging out. That's, that's everything I got. Alright, thank you you guys. So we just heard from three different people about their pathway to college. So I hope that makes you think a little bit about maybe reflecting on your pathway to college or how you want to go about getting into college later in life.